Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and we are here at the Watkins Glen International. We are ready to begin Super Glen Week here from the Watkins Glen International Raceway, and we're going to have an excellent weekend with so many races here from the greatest road course in the world. And we started off here with qualifying for the Chick-fil-A Cup Series Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. This is Uncharted Qualifying here from Watkins Glen. And I'm joined alongside Matt Tuck. And we got a lot of great races coming up this weekend, especially in the Body Armor Cup Series as well. Trey Wright's doing a special race here, but here at Napa Fan is where a lot of these races are. And some of these guys are going to be in the IndyCar race. A lot of these guys in the Uncharted Qualifying Session, they're going to be in the Turkey L Series race. What is the key to getting around this place here at Watkins Glen, especially considering we skip the chicane and go through the boot? Well, I mean, with all that in count there, obviously the big thing is basically just drive fast, don't mess up. You know, if you screw up here, it's going to it's gonna be a costly one. This is obviously not a short when you run this layout. You know, mistakes are at a premium. You can't afford to make a mess up when you have over two and a half miles of road course and twisting and turning to do. But, you know, it should definitely be an interesting one. A lot of... A lot of fast corners on this racetrack. Definitely open for a lot more passing opportunities than you'd normally see. Yeah, definitely one of the best road courses on the circuit, if not the best road course on the circuit. And uh, we're excited for today. We got Turkey Hill Series coming up at 5. And then at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, it's the Haas IndyCar Series Body Armor Duel at the Glen number 1. And we're looking forward to both of those races. And, of course, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, it's the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K here from Watkins Glen in the Chick-fil-A Cup. There's only four races remaining in the schedule as well. We got Watkins Glen, Gateway, Daytona, and Darlington. And this championship is definitely getting interesting. Nathan Barrett's starting to pull away just a little bit with a 30-point lead coming in. It's going to be very interesting to see if Baird can manage that here in the last road course race of the season. He won the first one at Portland back in June. We'll have to see if he can sweep the road courses here in 2020. Zero 07 is Chloe Reiner. Zero 08 is Bobo Jones. 21 is Carter Friesen. 55 of Owen Miles. 57 of Ryan Benjamin. 67 of Trey Smith. 71 of Hunter Blade. And a 98 of Landon Smith Jr. Those are the drivers competing to make it into the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K in the Uncharted Qualifying Session. Top two advance on. Bobo Jones will have the first lap here at Watkins Glen. And Chloe Reiner will be the second driver to complete a lap here once they get their flying laps in. We got the number 55 right here of Owen Miles. There's 67 machine there of Trey Smith. 57 of Ryan Benjamin. 98 of Landon Smith Jr. 71 of Hunter Blade. And the 21 of Carter Friesen. They'll all be racing later today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Napa Fam for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 200 in the Turkey Hill Series. But 08 of Bobo Jones will be the first driver to complete a lap here in Uncharted Qualifying. We'll have to see what his time clocks in as here at Watkins Glen. He's going to be, well, he's going to be doing the double for this, too, because obviously right after qualifying, he's got the Turkey Hill Series race coming up after that. So that should definitely be an exciting one. Obviously, those guys always put on an interesting show here, the Watkins Glens International. And Turkey Hill Series has actually come here since season number two, so they've been coming here technically longer than the Chick-fil-A Cup Series has. It's only be the fourth ever race in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series at Watkins Glen, at least on this version of the road course. We did have a couple of races on the short course back in the day in season one and season three. But uh, Turkey Hill Series, they've been coming to the long version, of course, since season number two back in 2015. So they've come here. They'll have their fourth race in the Turkey Hill Series at Watkins Glen coming up later today. Bubba Jones here. We'll have to see what his time will compare here. And he'll set the benchmark here in Uncharted qualifying for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. Got to watch out there for turn 11. And these guys tend to slide off of the corner there just a little bit. Bubba Jones will clock in 145.718. Chloe Ryan will be the next driver in line to complete her lap. Not much time to complete a lap. You pretty much get one lap here in Uncharted Qualifying since we run a five-minute session. And this is a 3.4-mile long road course. Chloe Reiner in the 07 machine. We'll have to see where she clocks in. It looks like she may have hit the outside wall coming to start her lap. And she will clock in under Bobo Jones. I thought she was going to go under, and I was wrong. I assumed it because she had damage, but she's ahead of Bobo Jones there, 145. One eight nine. Owen Miles, next guy in line. Remember, top two advance on, and Owen Miles just hit the outside wall significantly hard. That's going to slow his time down, and he will not be able to advance on to the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K with that time. Here's Trey Smith, number 67. 
Chris Trey Smith fighting to take the points lead away in the Turkey Hill Series. He just went to second in the number 67 machine. Great run for him there. Ryan Benjamin, number 57. He will clock in at a 144.560 fastest time. So Ryan Benjamin and Chloe Reiner, Landon Smith Jr. at the line. We'll go to fourth. Not enough to advance on. Christopher, Ooh. I should just say, Hunter Blade and Carter Friesen just hit the outside wall. That'll end his chances. Hunter Blade just went to second. Looks like it might be Ryan Benjamin and Hunter Blade advancing on to the Like Effect Ice Cream 400K. We'll have to see, though, if Bubba Jones gets a second lap in here. And if he does, he may be able to knock off Ryan Benjamin or Hunter Blade. Let's watch this 08 machine hits the final turn, that 90-degree right-hander. Down the front straightaway. Watch where he jumps up to. Oh, hello. He's going to knock out Hunter Blade from advancing on to the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. And if that's the case, this will be Bubba Jones' seventh Chick-fil-A Cup Series race of the season. We'll have to see about Chloe Reiner. She'll get a time in as well here. As she'll have enough time to complete her lap in the 07 machine for Velocistar Racing. At the stripe, Reiner is going to go to... Second, she'll knock off Bobo Jones. It's now Ryan Benjamin and Chloe Reiner looking to advance on to the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. We'll have to see about Owen Miles. I don't think he uh, is going to get a, um, a good enough time anyway. He's going to come down the pit lane. Trey Smith may have enough time to complete a lap here. We'll have to see if he pushes out the number 07 of Chloe Reiner. Slid wide there, though. A little bit wide at the stripe. Does not look like he advanced his time. So it will be Ryan Benjamin in the number 57 and Chloe Reiner in the 07. The Uncharted Drivers racing in tomorrow's Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. They will join the other 40 full-time drivers here from the Watkins Glen International to qualify for the pole position. It'll definitely be interesting to see how it all goes down for that one here in just a moment. You're gonna set the stunning line, and it's gonna be very big with these chase drivers because this is a road course, and moving away through the field is a little bit difficult. So Nathan Baird, Silas Orta, Alexander Rowe, those guys who are right up there in the championship, I'm gonna watch them and see where they end up qualifying here for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. Let's go ahead and get to pole qualifying here from Watkins Glen. Ryan Benjamin and Chloe Reiner advance on through uncharted qualifying. And we're back here at the Watkins Glen International, ready to set the starting lineup for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. This is definitely going to be an interesting session because we're at a road course. And, of course, at the road courses, like I mentioned just a minute ago, it's difficult to work away from the back to the front. So it's going to be interesting to see where these chase drivers qualify for tomorrow's race. Alexander Rowe, chase driver, who comes into this race 38 points behind Nathan Baird. So he, along with Silas Orta, and even Ryan Durrani, after Durrani's runner-up finish in the NOF Serial 500 last weekend, they all have a mathematical chance at surpassing Nathan Baird in the points heading into Gateway next weekend. The thing is, Nathan Baird has a 30-point lead coming into this weekend. And last year in this race, he had a good run. And he's in a very similar situation to how he was last year here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series when Nathan Baird had a pretty good points lead at this point in the season. He was able to keep it on and clinch the championship two races early. Well, next week is two races early, so these guys, they got to be careful to not let Nathan Baird pull away from the points, or otherwise we could be seeing our second two-time champion in a row here in the Chick-fil-A Cup. He's Elijah Gordon, won season six, season seven. Nathan Baird won last season, and... If things keep on going his way, he'll be the Season 9 champion as well. But still, four races left to go. Watkins Glen, Gateway, Daytona, and Darlington. Going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Do you think he's going to actually win this championship, or do you think someone like Silas Order, Alex Inero, may be able to surpass him in these next four races? Well, if Rowe and Order don't start winning, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be over. Um, obviously... You know, the advantage Baird has that he's just not screwing up here lately versus where a lot of these guys, we saw Alonzo is close. We saw some other guys were close who've just all found ways to kind of choke, needless, you know, for lack of a better term. But, you know, it's going to be, it, it's going to be interesting. You're going to have, we're going to have to see, you know, how some of these guys play it out here over the next four races. Um, but for sure, if, row if Orta and some of these other guys who are still somewhat close you know if they don't start winning you know you're going to be seeing nathan baird walking out of daytona with the championship 
We'll have to see how it all goes down. Silas Ortiz never won a race in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series before, and he sits second in the points coming into this race. So definitely a huge moment for him. And Alexander Rowe has already won twice this season. However, both the times he won was before the pandemic. So it's been a little while since uh, he's gone the victory lane here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. But regardless, he's held a pretty solid ground. has had a nice, solid season. And he's only 38 points behind. He actually dodged a lot of bullets last weekend in Michigan. Of course, we saw so many chase drivers get involved in accidents in Michigan last week. Alexander Rowe is one of those guys who only slightly got involved and was able to finish the race and set the top 20. So... We're going to have to see here. Nathan Baird is definitely the guy we want to watch out for here because he's got that 30-point lead. And that number 16 machine looking really fast, just like how the number 40 was last year. And speaking of the number 40, you know, in the Haas IndyCar Series, there's a driver who's doing a lot what Nathan Baird is doing. Well, he's going to be driving this number 40 for the last four races of the season. Chase Harris. And the four-time winner in the Haas IndyCar Series already this year. How excited are you to see Chase Harris here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series? I, um... <laughs> hey, you're not you're not driving in this series, so you don't have as much to worry about. Well, no, but I still want my guy Shane Lake to win the Rookie of the Year and, you know, score maybe, you know, we get eight wins as a team maybe, so we'll, we'll see. But obviously it's, uh, it's interesting to see. Obviously it's going to be fun to see what he can do. I don't know if he's going to win. Obviously that's, uh... Not a lot of time, but then again, we also didn't think he would win four races and nine starts in the Haas IndyCar Series, so anything's possible for him. Definitely is, and a huge opportunity too. King Heart Family Racing in the ride that won the championship last year, so he's got a solid car under the hood. We'll have to see if he can uh, use that to his advantage here and uh, maybe get a little practice for possibly coming into the series next season, so going to be definitely... Fun to see. Nathan Bear, number 16, seventh quickest. So not the best of times right there. You got a lot of guys who are jumping them on the leaderboard right now. Cody Sill currently holds the fastest time here in qualifying. Number 37, Armory Digital winner. Looking pretty solid right now. Chloe Riders went to second. Then it's Gatlin Downey, Dale Lightning, and Tristan Allen. The top five, Ethan Lewis, who was another guy who has come on board late in the going here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. This is, I believe, going to be... Only his third, third ever start. start. Yeah, third start in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. So we're definitely looking forward to see what he can do in this number 16 here at Watkins Glen. LJ Semedo as... I almost thought the 97 was blowing up, but I believe he just uh, tapped the grass there a little bit. LJ Semedo just went to the top of the board. Great run for Semedo right there as he goes to the top of the board. And Ryan Durrani, that's huge right there. Number 68 machine just went to now fifth. And remember, Durrani had the best run of any chase driver last week. Comes in this race 41 points behind Nathan Baird. Nathan Baird right now holds on to the 24th fastest time. And that's not exactly where you want to be if you're trying to hold on to a points lead. So, going to be interesting to see if he can hold it off here. But LJ Cemento looking pretty fast. Fisher G, Cody Seal, Ethan Lewis, Ryan Durrani, Chloe Reiner. Gatlin Downey, Ace Garcia, Dale Lightning, and last week's winner, Thomas Troxel, winner of the NOFSRL 500 last weekend in Michigan. Got a lot of big names out here so far in the top 10. To be interesting, not a lot of, let's see who is in here, not a whole lot of guys up in points there. Outside of Fisher G, who just jumped, who's up the second, I don't see a whole lot of guys in the points battle up in the top 10 currently. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, Ryan Durrani there in the 68. But outside of that, really don't have many guys who are in the chase inside the top 10. So that's really going to make things interesting. Fisher G is 66 points behind. Still within championship contention. He hasn't lost it yet. But not exactly the best place to, uh, to be in points. John Art just went to the top of the board. He has not had a good season in that 05 machine, to say at the least. Uh, Fisher G now Ace Garcia just went to the top of the board number 81 who almost won last weekend in the NOF SRL 500 Looking to finally break his long losing streak. It's been since season 7 at Kentucky It's been a little while for Ace Garcia here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, but he's looking to finally get something done It's Ace Garcia, John Arndt, LJ Semedo, Fisher G, Cody Sill Gatlin Downey, Cameron Garlington is 7th. Ryan Durrani, now Matt Dalio to 7th in the number 75 machine. Great run for Dalio there in the number 75. We'll check and see where the number 16 is. And Nathan Baird currently sits in the 26th position right in the middle of the field. 
It's gonna be interesting. He could go in a variety of different places once the race finishes tomorrow from that starting position. He could end up in the top 10 if he keeps a clean race. It's something that a lot of these guys are gonna have to worry about. You see guys with left side damage. We will have a one-stop race tomorrow, most likely. And it looks like Nathan Barrett's going to be coming down the pit lane here, so he will not advance his time. Or he was just moving to the inside of Sam and Eo there. But you're going to see these guys overshoot that final turn, turn number 11. And if you gain significant amount of damage before that first pit stop, you're going to lose time on the pit lane because you got to get that damage repaired. And uh, we'll have to see how that affects the outcome of the race because, you know, you could be out front, but if you hit that outside wall and have damage and you come in the pit lane, you're going to be on the pit lane longer than the guy behind you if they kept their car clean. So, a lot of strategy could be played in tomorrow's race, especially with turn number 11. That's the most treacherous turn on the race check as they overshoot it just a little bit sometimes and uh, these cup cars, they don't have the grip like the Indy cars do, and you guys will see the Indy cars later today. They go through that turn a lot better than these cup cars do, but uh, still, going to be a very interesting race here, nonetheless, at Watkins Glen International. Yeah, it's going to be, obviously, like you were saying, um, you know, a lot less grip on these cars, which will make it Trey interesting. Trey Barto the fourth, or just oh, a hello. fifth. Great run there for Barto, who has four more races left in his Chick-fil-A Cup Series career. I'm sure we'd all love to see him go to victory lane one more time here in the Chick-fil-A Cup just before he hangs it up there. And that number four machine will most likely... Be retired at the end of the season if Bartow doesn't return. That number four has been driven by Trey Bartow in every single Chick-fil-A Cup Series race. And to be truthful, I think it should stay that way. So, Trey Bartow, definitely one of the legends of this series. One of the few guys, he along with Zachary Fitzwater and Jesse Turner, the only three guys who have made every single Chick-fil-A Cup Series race. Matt Dalio only one behind. Matt Dalio failed to qualify for the season three Daytona 500, but those four guys have been in the series for every single season, and Bartow gonna be hanging it up at the end of the year. Be a great story to see him go to victory lane here at Watkins Glen. That would be huge for that number four team in Tiny Fury Motorsports. Tiny Fury Motorsports has yet to get a win this season, so that would definitely be great to see out of those guys. We'll second see Nathan Barrett, 30th fastest right now here at the Watkins Glen International in qualifying. So we're just going to have to see. Silas Orta is 27th. Alexander Rose 24th. They're all right on each other right there. So you're probably going to be looking at someone like Ryan Durrani who starts 14th. Maybe uh, putting some gains there on Nathan Bear. But none of these chase drivers, I believe, are inside. Except for Fisher G. None of the chase drivers are inside the... Uh, I'm wrong about that. Shane Lake's are up in the 8th position now. So good run there for Shane Lake. But still, a lot of these guys who are up there on the points are not running well here in qualifying. That'll definitely affect who ends up uh, getting the advantage in the championship heading in the gateway next weekend. Yeah, that's going to be it's going to be interesting because if all these guys, you know, like you're saying, obviously Baird doesn't want to have a bad day, but if Baird has a bad day and everybody else around him has a bad day, then I mean, really, it just it doesn't hurt him. It just allows another guy to maybe ink a little bit closer, but. You know, it's going to be, obviously, he's going to have his work cut out for him. Honestly, if you're going to be starting from the 30th position, your main goal at this track is just going to be, you know, don't finish worse. Try and improve a little bit. You know, even if the guys in front of you get away, this is the nice thing about having such a big lead. You know, you get that luxury of not necessarily having to push in situations where you may not want to. We'll see if he improves his time right here in the number 16 machine. And there's always that opportunity that he could improve his time here in qualifying, but it does not appear that he did so right there, so it's going to be a long day for him tomorrow in the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. 15 laps around this 3.4 mile road course, but it looks like it'll be the number 81 of Ace Garcia leading us to the green flag in tomorrow's event. Going to be interesting to see what Garcia can do with that with John Arndt sitting alongside him. John Arndt looking to get his 22nd career Napa fan win tomorrow. And you got Jesse Turner at 20, so it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out with the all-time wins list and those guys, because John Arndt, I don't know if he's going to be returning next year. Might want to get one more win before he possibly hangs it up. We'll just have to see how that all goes down. But Ace Garcia wants another win. Been a little while since he's gone to victory lane here in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Well, tomorrow, that may end. Ace Garcia wins the poll for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 400K. 
He'll start alongside John Art in row number one. LJ Semedo, Fisher G, Trey Barto, Cody Sill, Chloe Reiner, Shane Lake, Gatlin, Danny, Matt Dalio, the top ten. And you see Fisher G and Shane Lake, the only two chase drivers who will be starting inside the top ten for tomorrow's race. Fisher G will actually be starting in the third position as he tied with LJ Semedo there. Take a look at the rest of the results right there. And the lowest chase driver is actually Nathan Baird. Surprisingly enough, of the 11 chase drivers we have, Nathan Baird, 31st, Fisher G, the highest in third there. A lot of these chase drivers are going to be starting in the middle of the pack, like Alonzo, like Rowe, like Oskin, like Orta. They're all right there in the middle. Turner in the number 77. This is going to be an interesting race tomorrow because those guys in the middle, they really can go any place on the finishing order in tomorrow's event. Going to be interesting to see how it all shakes out for this, guys. But either way, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to today, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Turkey Hill Series from Watkins Glen. And at 7, it's the IndyCar Series from Watkins Glen. IndyCar is going to be qualifying in about a half an hour here on the NOFCL channel. And then tomorrow, it's the second IndyCar race at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And then the Chick-fil-A Cup Series at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow on Napa Fan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Ace Garcia for winning the poll. And we'll see you guys later for more Watkins Glen action here in Like Fact Ice Cream Super Glen Week from the Watkins Glen International. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later.